what is happening is even in your sleep state, the wisdom is distilling, and you're feeling that process go on. To you in the human mind, it's a long dream night, and it's uh, frustrating, and it goes on and on. You're just in the blender right now. <laughs> you're in the, the pressure cooker, the distiller, and you're just feeling what that's like to have yourself wisdomized. This is probably the most um, important step in what we're doing right now, and the most important process, allowing that wisdom. First of all, recognizing it's here. Secondly, allowing it. It's nothing that, oh, let's just do a mirap. Let's take a deep breath. And the next most important, profound thing you can do without working at it is simply to allow this wisdom. The whole process of bringing things from facts and figures and details, human experience, wounds and joys and all the rest of that, but everything, every thought that you've ever had, every thought, and allowing it to come to wisdom. I'll give you a little clue on this. When you went through this thing called the Wall of Fire, it was basically something uh, Tobias talked about a long time ago, but coming to your, your identity. When you came through the Wall of Fire and you were shattered into billions and billions and billions of pieces, every piece was a potential. Everything that you could possibly ever experience or think or feel was contained within the Wall of Fire. Your experience there, that shattering of self. It's been said that, it's been questioned, did, did you ever leave the Wall of Fire? Are you still in that experience? But enter now wisdom. Enter a potential that was never even contemplated in the wall of fire. Enter not wisdom of the past, but also of the present, of what's happening right now. This is what we're doing this next three to five years. Letting everything come to wisdom, even the thought you just thought. Bringing in the wisdom of the past and of the future. Of the future of lifetimes that could be lived in what would be the future, but are really occurring right now. This is one of the most intimate parts of the relationship with the I Am. The I Am loves that wisdom, and loves having experience, but then it brings it to wisdom. And now you have access to it. It's happening in the moment. Let's take a deep breath and, dear friends, just allow the wisdom. That's it. Allow the wisdom. Take a good deep breath in this moment, in this safe space. We're going to be doing this in a variety of different ways as we really come into the integration. But I told Edith before, there's no more fight. There's no more working at things. Because right now, it's saying to the human, just allow. Remember, wisdom has no power, it really has no energy to it. It's not a force. It's actually the, I guess you could say, the connection with the I Am.
the awareness. From now on, instead of trying to figure out things in your mind, let's take a good deep breath and just allow. Let's take a good deep breath. Allowing wisdom. We don't have to fight things in the mind anymore. We'll figure things out. Take a good deep breath. The Master brings the wisdom of all the lifetimes. And the wisdomizing that's happening right now. That's why all these dreams have been so strange. Because you're now actually becoming aware of how things are being brought to wisdom, distilled. See, you the human don't have to work at it, battle it, struggle with it. Just allow that wisdom. And you say, what is wisdom? Well, let yourself experience it. It's not intelligence. It's not your IQ. You would say it's the beauty and joy of everything. Everything that you've experienced. I say no more emotional processing. What I'm really saying is allow that wisdom of the Master to come in and distill all of the old processing, all the old issues. Allow it to get into your thoughts. I guess you'd say into your head. It's, it's you anyway, but it's the Master. Allow it to get into the experiences of your past that are perhaps still traumatized. Allow it to come into your body. Yes, even the biology can be distilled to wisdom. Absolutely. Let's take a good deep breath into the wisdom of the Master and these next few years together, we're going to learn that. There's no line, there's no differentiation between the human and the master. It's all the same, all the same. One word to remember from today, just one word. Wisdom, wisdom. Let's take a good deep breath. <laughs> 